Right, hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my best Black Ops 6 settings more specifically for console users I am on an Xbox Series X however these settings will work for PlayStation will work for Xbox and if you are a controller player on PC these will also help you out so I'm going to get into it and share with you guys them all important Black Ops 6 best settings but I've put a considerable amount of time into the beta and can comfortably tell you now what the best settings are so far. Obviously, this will probably change for the launch date, depending on how the game gets updated and changes from the beta. But these are my settings for now. This is what I'm doing well with, and I'm going to help you with all the important settings, such as sensitivity, movement, you name it. We're going to get it out of the way for you guys and help you out so that you guys can be successful and have some fun in the Black Ops 6 beta. But here we are. So we'll start off with, we're using tactical. I feel like tactical is just the be all end all. You should be using this melee to be and your stance, slide and dive on your stick. More important than ever, because obviously we have Omni movement in this game and the Omni movement is actually quite useful. I wouldn't say it's there to win a gunfight. However, it is quite useful for strafing, etc., and getting around corners and crossing places. So I definitely make sure you're taking advantage of Omni movement in this game. And of course, I've got settings to say that or to uh, take on and use that Omni movement because it is quite useful in this game. Uh, horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity, I keep at 5.5. Five. Simplified controls, do not use this. These are quite useful if you just want, you know, you don't want to be asked and messing around with the settings and stuff. But to be honest, I feel like you should have these off. I feel like you should actually sit there and mess around with your settings a little bit. These are quite useful if you, you know, you just want to get in and hop on real quick. But you don't want to be having those on. So definitely have them off. Bumper King, have them off. Swapping LBRB with LTRT, have that off. Unless you're on PlayStation, I've heard it's quite good on PlayStation. So if you're on PlayStation, think about using this. It's quite useful. Controller vibration, you do not need this. You do not want the controller shaking around your hand. I can't stress this enough. And then finally, dead zone inputs. This is all very dependent on your controller. However, I've got my left stick min to two, left stick max to 99, right stick min to five, and then right stick max to 99. That's going to allow you to have, like, basically be able to use, you know, be able to react real quick and also not have stick drift because if you have stick drift, it's going to cause you to move around like crazy. And in this game, again, with the Omni movement, you don't want to be accidentally moving in a direction you don't want to be moving with how Omni movement works in this game. Left trigger and right trigger go to zero and zero so you can hit the trigger as soon as possible. You want to aim down sight as quick as possible. You want to be uh, shooting as soon as quick possible. So definitely have those set to zero and zero. Next up, aiming. This is quite important. So sensitivity multiplayer, I've got this all set to default, all set to one. You can change this if you want to, but I'd recommend just keeping it all on one so you can have that nice, you know, how would I put it, uh, balanced feeling where it all feels the same. Uh, look inversion, leave that to standard. Aiming advanced settings, okay? ADS sensitivity transition timing. Have this set to instant. I know there was a bug with it. I do believe it might be fixed. Like it doesn't seem to be having an issue anymore. However, then if they, if you do feel there's an issue because there has been reported an issue with this, change it to after zoom. But for now, instant, you want to be using instant. Instant is definitely the best, for, uh, best one. Aim response curve type dynamic however linear is pretty good in this game i'd recommend either of these two for this game are quite good i haven't really tried standard to be honest but linear and dynamic are quite useful and then the dynamic response curve i've got set to 0.75 anywhere between 0.60 and 0.80 i feel like is the sweet spot but you'll have to try that for yourselves and you know make sure that suits your, your needs but definitely dynamic 0.75 is what i'm rocking with and then custom sensitivity presume i've got it off but if you really want to mess with it you can do you can change these uh, for yourself. Target aim assist, can't stress this enough. Make sure your aim assist is on, of course. And of course, as well, this year, no Black Ops aim assist, no default standard aim assist. It's everyone has the same type of aim assist, which I think is fantastic. I think that keeps the game level and fair for everyone. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Movement. This is very important. Make sure you lock this in, okay? Because some of you are probably asking, where's tactical sprint in that? If you want tactical sprint in this game, you need to turn it to tactical sprint assist. However, I feel tactical sprint is a bit too much in this game. So I use just on. I feel like on is the best of both worlds. You get that fast sprinting, you get that automatic sprint, and you'll be able to sprint left, sprint right, sprint backwards, sprint forwards without the game being too like fast because it will affect your aim. I feel like tactical sprint is a bit too much and will throw your aim off a little bit. So definitely I'd go with on. However, tactical sprint assist or on. Do not have this off. You need to be making use of the movement in this game 100%. Uh, mantle assist, have this completely off. Crouch assist, again, have this off. Airborne mantle off as well. And then slide dive, baby. If you want to be hitting those slide cancels really well in this game, you need to have hybrid. Otherwise, your slide cancelling is going to be slowed and delayed. Like it, you will notice the big difference. So make sure you've got this on hybrid. Or a peak door, I've got an off. And then movement advanced settings, we've got to go down to this as well. Toggle off, grounded mantle on. 
and then sprint restore have this on this will allow you to sprint without having to press the left stick again this is going to save your controller and make your like movement more fluid so definitely have this on slide maintain sprint i've got that on as well single tap to run again this is very useful Do, don't have it on single tap to sprint i have tried it this year it doesn't seem to work that well i'd go with single tap to run plunging underwater trigger and then spin sprinting door bash i've also got on and then we've got the vehicle advanced eggs i'm not going to show because they're not useful at all because there's no vehicles Anyway, aim down sight behavior, hold, weapon mount activation, ADS plus melee. You're not going to be weapon mounting in this game. I'm going to be honest. It's the most useless thing in this game. You will not be doing it this game. Like there, You need to be more movement, less than, you know, than actually mounting onto stuff. Uh, equipment behavior, hold, manual fire behavior, press, of course. Uh, advanced settings again. Ping, sprint, tactical focus, short delay, tap to reload, off, off, on, numeric order, hold, melee, and off. And then overlay advanced settings, short, short, and hold. That goes for all the movement there. Uh, I think, where is it? Just make sure, where is the setting that I need? you need to have? I think that's it. Oh, here. Uh, sprint assist, I forgot. Press X on this and make sure you change your sprint assist delay, okay? If you feel like the movement is a bit too like clunky and feels like it's not activating as soon as you... It's probably this. Make sure you are setting this to zero. This is set to 400, I believe, when you first go on. I believe it's set to 400. So make sure you've got this set to zero. It's the amount of milliseconds before any movement is actually detected. So make sure you've got it set to zero. And then sprint assist sideways and sprint assist backwards. Have these on. These are great for strafing and gunfights. Like these are really, really useful. So definitely have these on. Uh, next up, we're going to move over to graphics. Motion reduction, okay? You don't have to use this. It's going to keep defaulting your uh, settings. So for now, I've got field of view on 102. Anywhere between 95 and 105 is what I'd go with. I wouldn't have it any higher than 105, otherwise you will lose aim assist, and losing aim assist in this game is a bit detrimental in this game. You, know, you do need to be taking advantage of the aim assist of what it gives you, of course. ADS field of view affected. Weapon field of view is wide, so this will make the weapon look smaller, but it also gives less visual recoil and feels a lot better with the aim assist. So definitely have it on wide. This doesn't matter. And first person camera movement have it on least. This stops your screen from shaking whilst you're trying to like fire your weapon and stuff. Not completely, but as little as possible. And then this is up to you if you want inverted flashbang or not. Uh, the quality, change this to off, off and off. This is going to make sure the game looks smooth. It doesn't look all grainy. It doesn't look terrible. You're going to be able to see people more clearly. So 100% have those off. Fidelity cast, have this on. I've got it set to 80 because I had it on 100 and it doesn't feel right in this game. Like, I don't know, something's, it doesn't. It seems to behave weirdly. I don't know if it's just because of the beta. So I've got it down a little bit. I normally have this set to 100, but anywhere between, I believe 60 and 80 will do well for you. So have this set to 80 is my personal preference. On-demand texture streaming. I've tried both. Obviously, we can't turn it off at the moment. Uh, this causes me lag, okay? And I've got really good internet, so I'd go with minimal. And also, it's changed it back again. But change this to small. This will stop it downloading as many textures as possible whilst you are playing. So set it to minimal and set it to small, and you should get a, a much better, much more, a, be a better performance as well, and a much more crisper gameplay. Uh, if you can, obviously 120 hertz refresh rate. This is obviously 120 FPS. Definitely want to be taking advantage of that if you can. Safe area, minimum as possible, so the minimap is as close to possible as your, you know, to your center of screen, so you can see the minimap whilst you are gate, whilst you are, you know, trying to locate the locate the enemies and shoot at people. You definitely want the minimap being as close to the middle as possible. And then I've got this on. This is actually quite useful. Uh, low consumption. Now, the reason I've got this on, it makes it stops my Xbox sounding like a jet engine whilst I'm on the menus. You've probably noticed these, it looks a little bit laggy in the menus. That's because I believe it sets it to like 30 FPS or something. If your console sounds like a jet engine, make sure you've got this on. It will save your console a ton. And don't worry, it does not affect gameplay like it says. It definitely does not affect gameplay. I have tested this. Uh, audio. Not too important at the moment. There's not really any dead silence or anything, but if you want to copy these things, it's up to you. Uh, I've got 0, 30, 100, and 0. I, I can't say I'm really sound horroring people too much. It's quite easy to hear people simply because obviously there is no, uh, and obviously that's voice chat, so we don't need that either. And then finally, we're going into the interface. So server latency and packet loss, have those on. You want to be able to see, of course, uh, whether you're lagging or not. There's, it has been moments where I've been on servers which have been well over 100 ping that I probably should have left. I still tried it anyway. However, this game does work quite well when you play over 100 ping as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, readability, again, it's up to you what you want to do with that. Oh, actually, in fact, this is quite useful. Color customization. This will make your game look better visually. Have it set to filter to. Color, filter, target, both, and then 100, 100. The game will look visually better, and you will definitely be seeing that when I post some gameplays, of course, to the channel, how much better this makes the game look. 
Uh, HUD presets, you can use those if you want. However, I've decided to do it myself. So square minimap, minimap rotation on, radar off. For some reason, this makes the minimap like go white and everything. You can't actually see the, I, I don't know what this is for. Very weird. Compass type minimap, fade after 10 seconds, and rest of this doesn't really matter. But that is everything. Those are my Black Ops 6 beta settings. I'm not going to share too much. I'm not even going to share my Elite Controller settings just because it is a beta. Things will change. However, I know some of you haven't got the beta yet or are probably struggling for settings. Those are my settings for now and kind of giving you a, a sort of like a, 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 how would I put it, a range for those settings just for now because, again, it is a beta. Things will change. Things will change after the beta. So these aren't the be-all end all of best settings that will of course come when the game fully launches but for now i hope these settings help you out i hope these settings get you on board and able to use the movement and make your game less clunky and more visually uh, stunning and, and be able to perform well and have the game perform well for yourselves as well any questions leave me in the comments uh, leave them down in the comments down below i will happily answer all of them and help you guys make the game as good as possible for yourself to play in the beta and give yourself the best possible chance of experience the black ops 6 beta but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe notifications on. I'll catch you guys next video. Goodbye.